He's one of the most brilliantly gifted screen actors of our generation. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fabulous Tom Hardy. <laughs> You know, Tom, I like to think some of those whistles were for you as well. <laughs> so would I. Uh, I'm very excited you're on the show. So Genuinely, I'm, I'm very I'm excited. I'm sorry, but how good was that? Al Green. Unbelievable. That was incredible. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening... I've listened to that song so many times, and, uh, and, and then to see it live was incredible. Uh, you enjoying the World Cup? Are you watching uh, the football? Are you a football fan? No, oh. no. Well, see, I'm not a big fan, but I'm getting into it. I'm enjoying it. Who, who, who would you like to see win? England. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> of course. What about the vu? What about the vu vu zillas? Have you uh, heard those being played? No, no. I, I heard one tonight for the first time. You haven't heard it before. So you haven't been watching any of the matches. Mm, Have a no. listen. <laughs> That's quite. How annoying is that? That's good. <laughs> it's all right. I can handle it. <laughs> I spent you animal. Would you like to see another vu vu zilla destroyed, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. We've got the guy out the back there. Have a look at this. I don't want to die. That's not going anywhere now. Right? I think that's still functioning. That would still work. OK. Uh, where are you from, Tom? Where's your accent? Because your accent's quite hard to play, stuff like It is. I'm from, um, I'm from uh, a, a state of grace called Mortlake in, sub in suburbia, Eshin, SW14. So, so it's kind of South London, but, but it's... But not really sort of cool South London. So it's a posher part of South London? Yeah. OK. Because, but you've got a London accent, but it doesn't sound South London. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a... Um, I'm a bit of a mongrel, actually, because I, I pick up accents and, um, and, uh, and, and sometimes I don't know how I'm going to sound until I start speaking. Well, it's a, that must be a very good thing, I would have thought, for an actor to be able to pick up accents. But you do this deliberately, I guess, or is it...? Um, I don't know if I did it deliberately. Um, yeah, just, like, by osmosis, I'll, I'll change my accent, Do you I do... Guess. So when you play a part like uh, Bronson, for example, I don't know if you've seen Tom in Bronson, because it was a low-budget movie. It was a pretty small-scale movie yeah. in some ways, wasn't it? But an incredible piece of work, and I thought... It looked brilliant, but you were tremendous in it. What a, what a performance uh, and what a role to have. Uh, his accent, that you, did you, did you, you met the guy, you, you tried to do his voice the way he speaks, or was this uh, just your version of him, your, your idea of what he should sound like? Uh, <clears throat> funny enough, actually, it was how I imagined he would sound when I, when I first um, read the film. It is a strange, uh, strange accent. How would you describe that accent? What, where, where is it? It's, uh, it's, uh, it just reminded me of a strongman at the fair, you know, the yeah. old school... Uh... It's like vaudevillian almost, it's yeah, a performance yeah, totally, kind yeah, of thing. Totally. Yeah, come on up, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah. not quite the but it's got a slight Luton yeah. uh, twang on it as well. A Luton twang? Whatever that is, okay, yeah. yeah. whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, Charles Bronson, uh, the man who you play in the film, isn't Charles Bronson, the movie actor, of course. He's a, a fairly violent, mm. uh, a convicted criminal who, mm. who adopted that name himself. Um, you kind of, you're like the go-to guy for... Nutters. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you, do, you do seem to be able to tap into that kind of odd, kind of calm, followed by unpredictable violence. Mm. Uh, rather distressingly easy, I think. I mean, is yes. this something you're... This is just something you're comfortable around or with or...? Yes. But you are not yourself a violent man, I'm sure. No. no. No, but I think what's interesting is that I, I, I know what frightens me, you know? And, and also, I, I have um, a, a compassion for certain... Uh, an understanding of, of, uh, of certain erratic and unpredictable behaviour. It doesn't always manifest itself in, in violence, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but as an artist as well, I think um, it, it does with, you know... Within the creative arts, you can create things or you can destroy things, can't you? And, uh, and passion creates and destroys. So I get that. My head's a bit of a dangerous country, you know, and I shouldn't really go in there without an appropriate adult. So yeah, I understand. So, so you're, you're inside, it's a bit... It's like a cartoon in there. It's a bit like a lot of noises and things falling off cliffs and stuff like that, is it? At times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and so how do you keep yourself calm? How do you control your, your, the turmoil within? Knitting. <laughs> you're a knitter? No. No, no, no. But you say this in jest, but I'm thinking of taking up knitting. Have you Actually, no, I always think about it because a lot of people do that on film sets. Uh, they, they knit. Would you start with knitting, do you think, or crocheting? What do you think you'd start with? I don't know where to begin. You see, yeah. at the beginning, I'd have to learn whatever the first thing was. We right? could get a teacher. We could. We could make it a project for the summer. Do it. What would you like to knit first? A hat. No, it's too boring. Gloves? No. A cat. <laughs> 
possibly illegal. Sorry? A vuvuzela. Um, <laughs> okay, what are, you, what are you working on? Uh, oh, no, let's have a look at a clip, because many people won't have seen it, because it was a small movie, yeah. and it was, uh, you know, not a movie general stage, but I thought a remarkable performance by you, and I also think the director, a young guy, did a fantastic job. This is Bonson. Thank you. 